Season 2 update just dropped. If you haven't already, go update. It weighs around 2.8GB on Android. It should be the same on iOS as well. In this video, we are going through everything new in Season 2 of Apex Mobile. If you are following the channel, you might have watched this video. Almost everything I talked about in that video came in this update. First of all, a loading screen that's Rhapsody themed and a new lobby background. Also, the models of Apex packs has been changed. Maybe we can expect some changes in the item in Season 2 as well. And as I mentioned in that video, King's Canyon is available to play right now in the game. It replaces both normal battle royale and rank mode as well. So you have a few more days to practice King's Canyon before you hopping into rank mode. And the new legend model is not available or it's not displaying in the game right now. But you guys already know about the new legend Rhapsody. And I made a video explaining her abilities, like all predictions and speculations. You can watch that video right here. But a new legend is coming to the game. And also a new multiplayer map is coming to the game that's called Pathos Block Zero. And you can see that in the legend trailer that was posted yesterday by Apex Mobile. And they also added custom reticles where you can customize your crosshair, colors and all those stuff. This is located in settings, visual effects. And there are some changes in the care package weapons as well. Instead of Volt SMG and Spitfire, we are going to find EVA 8 and Devotion LMG. So those are the cat package weapons for this two seasons, season 2 and 2.5. So let's see how it's going to go. And they are going to be introducing two new multiplayer game modes. One is Hack and Gun Game. You guys already know about the gun game. For every kill you get, you switch weapons and whoever hits the kill limit wins the game. You have to hit one kill with every type of weapon that's set in that game mode. And no idea about the hack mode. I think it's probably going to be like a search and destroy type of game mode. That was leaked a long time ago. So that's what I'm expecting. And we have a new battle pass in season 2 that's going to be called Distortion. And this battle pass will start on July 13, 12 a.m. UTC. That's going to be July 30, 5.30 a.m. in Indian Standard Time. And I forgot to mention about the most important thing that made me happy in this update. Yes, the infinite bunny hopping nerf is here and you cannot do infinite bunny hopping anymore. You can do like two jumps at full speed and you are getting slowed down a lot. So this is the most important thing. I know a lot of you guys are so happy hearing about this. If you are, definitely drop a like and if you are enjoying the video so far, definitely drop a sub and let's move on. Unfortunately, we are not going to have any new gun in the game, but they did a lot of work on bug fixing and optimizations. So let's go through that. And now we are in the patch notes section. They added distance acceleration rotation mode in sensitivity settings. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for this rotation mode because you got used to it in the previous games. So here we have it and they changed teammate flags when you pick up banner you cannot shoot right they changed that so you can pick up a banner in one hand and you can shoot the gun on the other hand so that's a really good quality of life change fixed acceleration retention achieved with bunny hop this is the infinite bunny hop nerf they added fatigue so you cannot do jumps at full speed that's it fixed the red dot issue in the season store so you are not going to see the red dot if something new pops up and if you already checked it out that was a bug so yes. And they also fixed a bug with pathfinder where you can grab the enemy and go mid air. So that has been fixed and raids void you can hear her footsteps when she is in the void that's also been fixed and octane's jump pad not triggering. This is the most reported bug and that has been fixed. That's really really nice to hear. They also fixed a caustic gas glitch where the gas stays on your screen even after you're leaving the gas trap. So that has also been fixed. And they fixed the gun noise issue. This is also one of the most reported bug. You'll hear random gun noises everywhere outside the map and all those. That was also fixed. 
And they also fixed the bug where the button would appear even if you set the transparency to 10%. I'm facing this bug right now on your screen. You can see the jump button. I have it 10% but it appears fully so they fixed that issue. And from the patch notes, I think you can set all the buttons to zero transparency. So the gameplays and everything is going to be so clean for content creation and montages and all those stuff. And you can have a good experience overall. And they fixed legend model issue. When you emote, it uses different model, it's low quality and all those. They fixed that and they optimized world's edge map so you won't face that many lag. I think world's edge might come back in 2.5 who knows and they also optimized skydiving so you won't face any frame drop stutters when you skydiving in android phones mostly and they optimized melee attacks so probably you have to aim at your enemy and punch them so you can actually punch them before the update you can punch near your enemy and the aim assist will drag you to your opponents and punch them so that's not going to be the case anymore i guess and the next one is logic of the release of evil spirits in the ultimate move i don't know what this is but the tactical and ultimate both of them sounds like revenant this could be a teaser for revenant i don't know why they are having this in the patch notes so yeah so that could be a revenant teaser that's going to come in 2.5 if it actually comes out and they also optimized bangalore's smoke grenade so when enemies are in the smoke you can see them better compared to the last one before the update so they are going to be slightly more visible that's all the changes they are making to smoke grenade and Corrosion's exclusive passive skill, Healing Catalyst, has a unique animation. I think they are talking about Lifeline here and her passive is the Drone Revive. So that's going to get a unique new animation, I believe. So that's cool, I guess. And fixed an issue where the Phantom Decor's gun attachment. Phantom is Fade, so they fixed an issue with Fade's gun attachment that would float. I don't know how but okay that was a bug and they fixed it and more other fixes and optimizations coming to the game as far as I noticed there was no 90 FPS support or anything like that so these are all the things we have for season 2 update did I miss anything let me know in the comment section down below drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more apex legends mobile videos gameplays news and all those stuff and thank you for watching till the end and I'll see you guys in the next one.